close but no cigar. Hi, I'm Seth. Welcome to another video picks. Today I'm reviewing Close. Close is a Netflix film starring Nomi Rapaz and Sam Carlson. I love you juice and it's Sarah Abadelati Trokey as Joe and Sophie Nalise as, as Zoe Taylor. I don't like that Zoe and Joe thing. Anyway, a bodyguard and an anti-terrorism expert is tasked with protecting an heiress named Zoe. Neither one of them is fond of the arrangement until a violent kidnapping sends them on the run. I was expecting more from this movie. Netflix and other online streaming services have gained so much ground in the past year with their in-house content that my expectations were that high. Is their victim of their own success. You can tell that they were aiming for some gritty kind of movie like Atomic Blonde or Salt. I wanted to hesitate to say that this was more Jason Statham than Jason Bourne. But I actually like the Transporter trilogy better than close. That isn't to say that it was bad. It felt like a B movie. The action was brutal, almost too brutal for me in some places. You didn't know if Sam was going to win some of those fights, but she did. I think the reason why is that filmmaker Vicky Jewson filmed it in 29 days. Contrary to popular belief, if you should have filmed quickly, you get something that's not as good as a film that you've taken your time with. Fight choreography takes even more time to perfect, and the final product suffers if you rush it. Take Game of Thrones, and yes, it's not an action movie, but a show. The longest battle on Game of Thrones took 55 days to shoot. That's nearly double the time Closer took for the whole project. I really like Nomi Rapaz and Sophie Nalise. They work together well. Nomi sells tough as nails like nobody's business. Sophie had an even harder job. She had to sell vulnerability and then she transformed herself into a mini Sam where she could fight and shoot but on a lower level, of course. I found this group was lacking. The bad guys didn't have a clear source. In normal action films, the leader tells his flock of henchmen to get them. But this movie wanted to be crafty and didn't show any of that. They just showed the thugs showing up wherever Sam and Zoe ran. Even in the late second act when the headhunter was revealed, it was weak. To me, this is a Saturday afternoon film when you're looking for a movie to watch and you don't want something you have to invest a lot of time into understanding. Jason Wong is a good example. Here are my video picks. Tomb Raider is a 2018 film starring Alicia Vikander. Laura Croft, the daughter of an adventurer, retraces his steps in order to find out what happened to him. I picked this film because everyone always focuses on the Angelina Jolie movies and I thought this one was equally as good. Atomic Blonde is a 2017 film starring 
Shani Theron, James McAvoy, Josh Goodwin, and Eddie Marsh. An MI6 agent goes undercover in Cold War Berlin to investigate a murder of another agent and to recover his list of double agents. This movie has a non-stop action like Schroeser should have had. There are always people trying to capture and kill Charlene Theron's character, Lorraine, and she fights back hard. One time during a fight scene, Theron cracked in front tooth. The girl in the Spider's Web stars Claire Foy as Elizabeth Salander, a hacker who battles spies and corrupt government officials to uncover the truth. Most of these video banks can be streamed on YouTube, Amazon, and iTunes. The Girl in the Spider's Web isn't going out yet, but it's on the watch list. Thank you for visiting me today. Please click like, subscribe, visit my links below, and have a great day.